Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Elias, and today we're going to read a new book. Are you ready? Today's book is entitled Living Things by Dorothy Avery. All right. So, are you ready to read it? Okay, let's go. Living Things. Look at this picture right here. What do you see in this picture? Three girls. And what are these three girls doing? They are jumping rope. Chulumki. Jump rope. All right. I'll write that down for you. Jump rope. They are exercising. Undonghe. They are exercising. All right. Let's go on. Here you can see two boys. And what are they eating? They're eating watermelon. Do you know what watermelon is in Korean? Subak. Watermelon. All right. It looks so delicious. We eat. Everybody repeat after me. We eat. Here you can see some other living things. You can see some plants and some animals. First, let's start with the animals. What kind of animals do you see in this picture? Two rabbits. Two rabbits. Here's one and here's another. And then, what kind of plants do you see? I see this big round thing right here. What's that? Watermelon. That's right. We just learned it on the next, on the previous page. And then there's some things down here. What are those? Carrots. Do you know what carrots are in Korean? Of course you do. Tangan. Yeah. Living things need food. Everyone repeat after me. Living things need food. Animals eat food. Animals eat food. Plants make their own food. Plants make their own food. All right, great. Mm. Here is a girl and a boy. And what are they doing? They're drinking. Mashida. They're drinking. And you can tell that they're drinking because they have these cups in their hands. They have cups. See, there's a cup and here's another cup. And they are drinking water. We drink. Everybody, we drink. Wow, now look at this. This little girl, it looks like she's giving water to this plant right here. She's watering the plant. And then this dog, this cute little dog, He's drinking too. Living things need water. Everyone read with me. Living things need water. Animals and plants need water. Animals and plants need water. Both of them. Everything in this picture needs water. Now, look at these two boys. Actually, it looks like they're participating in some kind of race, like a taligi, right? Hmm, maybe it's a sack race? Maybe they need exercise? Let's see. We move. Umjigida. We move. Can you guys move too? All right, good. Just like we move, plants and animals also move. Here you can see the sun. Look right here. It's going from here to here to here. And then, so is this flower, this sunflower. Do you know what sunflower is in Korean? Hebaragi. Very good. So the sunflower moves like this. Just it follows the sun. And this right here, this bird is called a hummingbird. It's also moving. It's flapping its wings and it's flying. Living things move. Repeat with me. Living things move. Animals move in many ways. Animals move in many ways. 
Plants move their flowers. Plants move their flowers. They follow the sun. They follow the sun. Very good. Now, look at these three children. Hmm. Looks like one is kind of like short, one is in the middle, and one is really, really, really tall. Hmm. What could they be doing? I think they're moving, but I, I don't think they're like moving like, like this, but they're moving in height. Kiga, they're moving in height. So, let's see. We grow. Wow, we grow. She grows, well, this girl could grow up to be this tall, and this girl could grow up to be that tall, and maybe he will grow up to be even taller. So they are each growing. Growing? Wait a minute. Here's a little, little chick. Do you know that? A little chick, Pyongari, right? And this chick grows up to become a hen, andak. Right? Wow. So a chick becomes a hen. And then, look at this plant. This plant starts out right here as a little tiny seedling, a little baby seed. And then it grows up to be a sprout, and then to a full-grown plant. Wow! These things are growing. Living things grow. Baby animals grow into adult animals. Seeds grow into plants. Now, let's look at these two. These two boys are playing around with a can on a string. This one, what do you think he's doing? He's talking. And this boy, what do you think he's doing? He's listening. We have senses. Right. This one is using his mouth to speak, and this one is using his ears to hear. We have five senses. Do you know what they are? They're the sense of sight, to be able to see, the sense of hearing, to be able to hear, the sense of taste, to be able to taste something when you eat it, the sense of touch, which is your skin, and the sense of smell, which is your nose. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Anyway, let's go on. So, here you can see some animals and some plants. This animal is what? A cat. Koyangi. He's so cute. And he uses his whiskers. He uses his whiskers to feel around him. And then this is a cactus. And here you can see the sun turning into the moon. Well, not turning into, but the day becoming night. This is day and this is night. So, in the daytime, the flower is open and at night, it starts to close. Hmm. Animals and plants have senses too. Repeat with me. Animals and plants have senses too. Cats use whiskers to sense things. Cats use whiskers to sense things. Some flowers sense day and night. Some flowers sense day and night. So, looking at this picture, you can see different kinds of things that are alive and some that are not alive. Find the living things. So, which one of these things are living? Let's look at these two. Which one of these are living? Is it one or two? It's both, right? This right here is what? What is this? This is a butterfly, Nabi. And then this is a girl, Yoja. So here you have a girl and a butterfly, and they are both living things. Let's go on. What's this right here? Oops. That is a wheelbarrow. Is a wheelbarrow a living thing? No. It doesn't need water. It doesn't need food. It doesn't need sunlight. And it doesn't have senses. So, 
it's not a living thing. How about this right here? So we'll, get, we'll put an X on this X. This right here is an umbrella, Usan. Is an umbrella a living thing? No. Why? Because it does not need water, it does not need food, it does not need sunlight, or it doesn't have senses. So it's not a living thing. So we can put an X on this too. And then this, what is that? That is a rubber ducky. Is it real? No. So it's not a living thing. So X. And then this, what's this? That's a soccer ball, chukku kong. Is a chukku kong a living thing? Does it need water? Does it need food? Does it have senses? No, no, no. So put an X on it. And then we have this. What are those? Those are tulips, which are flowers. Are flowers living things? Think. Does it need water? Yes. Does it need sun? Yes. Does it need food? No, because it makes its own food. Does it have senses? Yes. So it's a living thing. Ding, ding, ding. Then we have these two cute little bunnies. They're rabbits. Do you remember the toki? Now, are they living things? Yes, they are. They're animals, just like humans. They need water, they need food, they have senses, and they can move a lot, right? Just like this little girl and this butterfly. And the last one that we have is our Pyongari. And of course, it is a living thing because it is an animal just like the rabbits and just like us. All right, so I hope you've learned a lot about living things today and a lot about what they need and take care of them if you have them in your house. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for learning with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.